Hi, this is Ron McTube, we're playing the Hunter Call of Wild on PC. Today we're doing our second video on Yukon Valley. We're going to continue from where we left off yesterday. I think the mission we had to check out some logs, was it? Or some trees to do a beetle infestation. I'm hoping today we get to try out the 300 cannon rifle, the 300 magnum rifle, because we haven't used that yet. I want to try it out. I would like to find some of the other species. Uh, the species, just to go over them, there's caribou, grey wolves, grizzly bear, moose, plains bison, red fox and harlequin ducks. So let's go over to this objective first and see what this mission's all about. I hope you enjoyed the last video, if you haven't seen it already, check that out. Um, we'll be doing lots of videos on Yukon Valley and exploring and just trying to make as much content this as you can enjoy. In that pack, you should have a canister of paint and a nozzle attachment. Use them to paint a big pink X on the tree. And let's take a look around to make sure the beetles haven't started to spread. If you see a spruce in the immediate vicinity of the fallen tree, mark it. And our forestry team will come out and take care of it. If it's untouched, they can just spray it with pesticides to protect it. If it's already infested, then they'll cut it down and haul it away for burning. I assume we've got to spray this one. Yep. Great job. I hope we don't need to cut these trees down, but it's a small price to pay to contain the beetles. There we go. Another tree marked. This reminds me of my summer breaks when I was a kid helping out my dad at work. He was a tree surgeon down in Washington State. I used to resent him for making me go out there and work while my friends played back home. Eventually, those trips also included hunting lessons, and that made them my favorite parts of the summer. That should do. I'll get in touch with the foresters. They can investigate the area and cut down what they need to. I'll make sure that they also pick up the firewood at Loggers Point. Don't want to take any chances. Thanks for taking care of this. It's becoming a full-on phobia of mine that these beetles are going to destroy the forest here. We sprayed pesticides across the western edge of the forest as a preventative measure earlier this month. But any new chemicals in the air, soil, or water make me uneasy. So we marked some trees, we've done that mission. I wonder what we've got to do next. It's good doing the missions because you find lots of things while you're doing the missions. Bag that you found the paint. There should be some plastic sample containers. Could you bring them out to the musk oh sorry. I mean wetlands? Musk egg is the word we use up here in Alaska. So we've got to go collect some water samples now. Oh, I found the lake. And near lakes is often animals. Let's have a look what we can find. We've got some moose. They're drinking. Now the 300 cannon is a level four weapon, so we can use that on moose. So I think it's time to try it out, isn't it? Hopefully it's a really powerful gun. From what I've been looking at in real life, it's not as powerful as a 338, uh, but a lot of people use it because it's obviously cheaper to use. But it's a very good rifle for long range and powerful. Uh, just not as strong, I don't think, as a 338 and you can't shoot as far. It's sort of different sort of uh, level of class of weapon. But it's a very strong weapon for big animals. That's what we do now. So we're going to try it out. Has any of my viewers got a 300 Win Mag or 338? I know some people have got... Uh, some of these rifles and guns that we're playing game what do you think about that what is it like in real life for 300 versus a 338 drop that in the comments i do like to know about that that's not what we was after but that is a level four caribou. so we're going to shoot that with a seven millimeter we can't shoot that with a wind mag uh, it's not ethical but that was a level four so it'll be interesting to see what that scores now we've got a, a moose it's not a big one but it's more about we're going to take a first shot with this 300 canning. I've not used this before, so 
it's going to be a bit of trial and error. I think we'll bodge a few shots up before we get it right. It's about 200 meters, uh, the moose to me. So I'm going to get a nice spot. I think I'll go prone for my first shot and just see how it goes. And hopefully we knock it straight down. Might not do because, like I say, we've got to learn if it's got a different drop to any of the other guns. Here it goes. And it's running off so maybe that wasn't a great shot <laughs> we'll go and check it uh, in a minute and see where we hit it let's go over and collect this caribou that should be dead it was quite close we used a seven mil i'm uh, used to using that so there's the vital blood should be just down here he did say level four a little bonus i didn't know that was there What are you looking forward to seeing or hunting when you play this map on Yukon Valley? Here we go, it's a male, it's a four, it's a silver. So that's interesting. Uh, that's a four and it's a silver. Normally a four uh, for some animals would be a gold, but I think the antlers aren't very big for the size of the animal, so that's probably why uh, we've got a silver on that one. But it's a nice bonus one. Have a quick look at the true score. Yeah, look, they're quite small, the antlers are, so that's probably why. So, as you can see, not all fours will be golds. Depends on the antlers and the true score. Right. Some of the viewers here who is watching, I am doing competitions while I'm making these videos on Yukon, uh, Yukon Valley. And I will be giving away games and DLC packs for Yukon Valley. So make sure you watch the video because at some point I'll ask a question. And then basically the first person to answer that in my comments and contact me by Twitter will get Nicely a done. prize. First time I was there, I misjudged how stable the edge of a pond was and ended up with one leg knee deep in the water. I was a rookie at the time and luckily nobody saw it happen. Can you grab a second sample from a body of water slightly further away from the forest? So we got to collect another sample. I see where we hit that moose as well, didn't we? Try this 300 out again. <laughs> But well, there is the moose I shot. It is wounded, you can tell by its body. <laughs> that should be down now. So basically, we didn't do a great shot on the moose for the first time. But it was our first shot, it was over 200 meters, I think, about 200 meters. Um, but when we collect it now, we'll see where we hit it. See how we've got to adjust. Let's collect uh, these tracks. Get your need zones and uh, quite important for animal location. To know where they're going to be. Here's our moose. We obviously know the second one was a vital, but the first one was flesh jaw. So when it was drinking at the water and I've, I've shot, I must have just clipped the jaw. And on that trajectory, that probably would have been a heart. Yeah, look, it probably would have been a heart lung. I've hit the jaw. That's the only problem with front on shots, if they bow down or they've got the neck bent and then they lift up, you can sometimes just catch the jaw on the way to trying to get heart lung shots. That's why I recommend shooting uh, broadside from side on, it is easier. But our first kill with the 300 cannon, learning experience. I'm glad, I do like the weapon, I like how this one looks as well. There's two different versions. We had a call from a caribou. Let's give it a call back with the antler rattler. Take a quick look at the map. See what we've unlocked. Bright water flats. Got to go there. There's also a lookout point, Firewatch Tower. So that should give us our next outpost lodge once we get to that point. But first, we're just going to try and kill this caribou and then we're going to collect another water sample. Oh, we're looking round. 
when you call a caribou sometimes you're not sure if they're going to come straight in or they're just dawdling about in the forest you don't know what's going to come out next could be a tiny one could be a diamond could be a rare I wonder what rare variations there is of caribou get a 7mm ready come on what's this female moose how typical they always show up don't they you know when you're late and you can call anything and, and female moose are always sticking their nose in that's not a female moose though that's quite a nice so down it goes so we've got a bonus caribou seem to be plenty of them on the reserve let's confirm that one it is a male it is a three so it's a silver and a heart shot that's why it went down so quick click that one and move on in our last episode the competition was to win a, a call of wild base game was what our caribou also known as so hopefully you got that right I will be giving away a base game for Call of Wild in this video and I will also be giving away two Yukon Valley DLCs as well at the end of the video I will be asking questions or something related in the video so make sure you watch the video to find that out We've just found our first Plains Bison. I don't know if he's in the group or he's on his own. I can only see one at the minute. It looks like he's sleeping. How can he sleep in the snow? But <laughs> he's resting in the snow. So I'm going to creep up. I know the 300 should work on the Plains uh, Bison. Did I say Plains Buffalo? I'm not sure. The Plains Bison. Um, so we're going to try this out. Let's see how powerful this is. I'm going to shoot it a bit closer. Now, uh, a lot of these big animals with the big muscly structures, uh, a lot of people like to shoot them between the eyes because it seems to down them better than going for body shots. Because if you miss them with body shots and they're an animal like the bison that charge, you, you're in trouble, especially when you're in a group because if 10 charge you, you're probably going to die unless you get lucky. So I think this one's on its own. So that might work out safer for Ron. I'm going to have a quick look around and make sure his mates aren't around. The snow's rolling in, the dynamic weather system is working. But as you can see here, there's none really landing here. It's, it's uh, normal grass, whereas a bit higher up, you can see where the snow's settling. It is really very realistic and it brings a great atmosphere uh, dynamic to the game. Right. I'm going to shoot this side on and hopefully get a lung or a lung heart. Let's see how powerful this is. But if it runs at us, I'm going to shoot it between the eyes. Because that's, like I say, I think that's probably one of the best ways of de dealing with bison and water buffalo. Just taking a final look round. Can't see any more. So I think we should be safe from getting stampeded. Or charged. going to get a little bit closer because I'm not sure yet on the power of this 300 um, I know it should be like the 338 or sort of in that range which is a brutal gun so we shot it in the side as that oh my we made it mad right eyes, eyes between the eyes <laughs> it is a good shot man he was straight at us as well. There's no messing with that. He was going to bulldoze us. Might be a female. Don't know yet. It's our first one. So let's take a look. Let's confirm the trophy. It is male. It's a two. And it's a silver. So the first shot. Uh, where do we hit it? Right scapula. Right lung. Flesh. So I think it's maybe because we had a bit of the spine and stuff uh, it didn't go down, but flesh brain shot did destroy it. So I would say on these bisons, shoot them between the eyes and go for a brain shot because that will put them straight down. 
and that's what Ron will be doing from now on. I do normally do that anyway, but because it was side on and where it was positioned. Uh, but I definitely will be shooting between the eyes in the future. Right, let's continue on. I've got to get to that objective over there, collect some water samples. Not far away now, the snow's rolling in. It is very atmospheric on here. And you can't believe how big the map is. It feels really big. I don't know how to describe it compared to other maps. It feels like you really are out in the wild. Uh, so they've captured that really well. There's lots of other species. Can't wait to see grizzly bears. Grizzly bears and wolves especially. Wonder where we'll come across those. So there's the lake we're going to get a water sample from. We'll just have a look around, see if there's anything in the location. While I think about it, this weekend only, the Hunter Quarter Wild is free to play on Steam. So if you haven't tried it, thinking about trying it, give it a download. It is a beautiful, brilliant game to play and it's free to play this weekend. So that's the time to try it. If you do like it, the base game is also heavily discounted on steam as well so it's a great time to pick you up the map will be released on pc on tuesday the 25th of june for pc and on consoles it's two days later on the 27th so important details there just thought i'd refresh uh, so you know all about it so this is where the pond is we've got to collect our water sample great there you go that should do for water samples next up I need you to find me some animal droppings in this region. The musk keg is a hotbed of animal activity, so you should find droppings quite easily. So our next mission is we've got to collect some droppings of two different animals. If the pesticides in this have drifted out to the flats, I want to know if it's making it into the food chain. It's been a month since we sprayed. So there's been plenty of time for the pesticides to get out here. So what they want us to do is collect animal droppings. So basically they can check the droppings, see if the pesticide of the plants and surroundings have gone into the animals, what they've been eating, digesting. So quite realistic. Here is our next fireworks tower. Look at point. I think we'll claim that. That should now show us uh, where our next lodge is. Our outpost. It's in a really nice position as well because it's quite high up. So we should be able to see all around. Get a great uh, panoramic view. There's some really big mountains on this reserve. And uh, if I can, I'm going to try at some point to climb up them. I'm looking forward to that. I did that in the early beta of Call of Wild, which is just coming out before public had access to it. I, I climbed up the highest peak of there, and if I can on this reserve, I'll be doing that again. Uh, so let's take a look, see if we can show you this mountain I'm on about. It's absolutely massive, it's unreal how big it is. There's quite a few peaks like that, but it's the biggest one I'm uh, interested in. Look, look in the background. If we can get up those, I'm definitely going up there. I'll make a video of trying to get up it. It looks like we've got a herd of Plains Bison. Now it looks like there's a lot of them. This could be a great place to shoot them, but where we are now, it's not really high enough and the trees are in the way. You always want to try and get a clean shot when you're shooting an animal and try and get vital organs. You see these mountains even better now. There's one on my left that's even bigger than those. So there is a massive mountainous range all around the reserve. I wonder if I climb it first, I can name it. On the left, as you can see, what a view. It's somewhere right up in the clouds, the peaks. Look at that one on the left, that's even bigger. <laughs> I think I'll call it Mount McTube. That's what I'm gonna name it if I get up it, before anyone else gets up there. I swear that is the rule though, isn't it? If you climb a mountain first, then you get to name it, and that's what it's called, so. If I get up it, I'm calling it Mount McTube. Right, how many of you do actually do exploring more than hunting? A lot of people do that in the uh, Hunter Call of Wild. You ain't got to 
play hunt and you can do the objectives missions and just explore a lot of people like doing that taking pictures making movies like that uh, it is not just about hunting there's lots of things you can do in the game uh, but it is obviously a hunting game but there's also lots of other things to do it's such a beautiful uh, game as well it's a great place to look around you can probably see 400 uh, 450 meters out on here so good for long shots but ideally when you're looking for the maximum long shots you want to be in the mountains on any reserve if you've got them or as high up as possible a lot of people like to see my cinematic camera uh, videos as well I'll be doing some of those so we've got quite a few things going off we're doing the hunting we've got the exploring we've got the missions objectives uh, the storyline cinematic camera views close-ups we're going to try and climb up the mountain mountain uh, mctube mountain we're going to call it so we've got lots of things to do and lots of things to discover lots of animals to find as well hopefully some big trophies to get in the dodge this is going to be awkward actually i think ron might get killed here <laughs> we know there's a big group of uh, planes bison I don't know how many there is, it could be 20 for all I know through these trees, but it's going to be low visibility. So Ron's uh, got his med kit ready. I think what we'll have to do is we're going to have to do some clean brain shots. Probably take a hit, best reload, and then uh, med in between getting hit and hopefully not get killed. So it's definitely going to be tricky. I'm obsessed with those mountains now. It's definitely happening. I don't know if you'll be able to get to the top, but we'll give it a try. So, wish Ron luck. We're going in Plains Bison, Danger Roulette territory. I'm going to try and get as close as possible, because I won't mind seeing a big group together, but this is not really ideal because of all the trees. And you've seen how aggressive the last one was. I shot it, and then it comes straight at me like a raging ball. Vroom! Straight, straight line straight at me now we know there's quite a few over there we know they're aggressive and we have low visibility so this might not end up well I've got to collect two different uh, poop samples <laughs> from two different animals so we'll definitely get one of those here so we'll do half the mission half the objective and then I think we'll find a moose or a caribou quite easy. Closer and closer. It's got a funny feeling one's going to run straight through and bulldoze me straight down. My aim for this weekend is to try and get four or five videos out. They are going to be long ones and covering a lot of content, but they're quite big, so editing and <laughs> uploading is, is quite a long time but I'm going to try and do my best to get as many videos out as possible uh, to keep you entertained and uh, so you can see most of the content uh, most of Yukon Valley right, I'm going to take my scope off because oh, here's a drop in right, here's one of our objectives that's what we're looking for perfect could you find a sample from a different species as well it's better to grab a larger sample size while you're already there in the field. Now they, I'm not sure if they're aware I'm here yet or not. But they're kind of sort of looking, I think they're looking over here. I can't see that one's face, but his body language is saying like, uh, they're getting a bit close now. Yeah, look, they've got up and they're moving towards me. That one looks almost black, quite dark. I wonder what different variations there is. Is the albino ones different coloured fur variations? And there is quite a lot of them. And they're very close. So I'm going to take the scope off. Sometimes close up this is better than having the scope on. It depends on the uh, magnification of the reticle you've got on. But sometimes taking the scope off uh, is it easier for quick shots. There is a big herd there, look. There it goes. Fun's just about to begin. There's one, and just as I <laughs> predicted, <laughs> quick, which, oh my, which, did I put the medication in, eight, eight or nine, I'm just thinking, oh uh, yeah, right, he's not happy, he's not happy, just wondering what, 
Oh my. <laughs> oh, no. Come on, go on. Gotta heal up. Gotta heal up quick. I think that should have done all my. You're everywhere. <laughs> you have really got to plan and work out what you're doing and make sure you've got a med kit on. Good <laughs> nice, straight down. So this gun is brewing. It's absolutely brewing for this. Do you want to take out Bison? This is the gun, the 300 cannon. Just smashes them. Very impressed with that. So right between the eyes, it's a female one. Look at that brain shot. No messing. Straight down. So and I imagine with a big herd, if you survive the attacks and don't get trampled, you could take out probably eight or nine of them and in a group quite easy. So good for money. Here we go, what's this one? It's another female one. Flesh, that was this side on one, wasn't it? So they do look very nice, I like how the fur is, very detailed, but they are very aggressive. So definitely work out how you're going to attack these uh, and go at them. Because otherwise, if you haven't got a med kit on, you, you're dead, I think. As soon as you shoot one, they just all come for you, <laughs> as you've just seen. Uh, I'm sure we shot another one. Sometimes when you're in the heat of the moment and recording and thinking about all the different things you, you, uh, you like lose track of what you've just done. So, let's have a look. Oh, there's a lot more over there. Or is that the same group coming back? I'm not sure. But we're going to have some fun by the looks of it. Ah, I can see one of the dead ones on the floor. So, yep, yeah, that's where that one went. Just checking these out, seeing if we can see any trophy ones. I don't know what they go up to for diamond. Probably a three. Is it a three? I'm not sure. But I think the biggest ones we've seen up to yet has been two. It would be nice to see a rare one, but obviously they're rare for a reason. But I'm very impressed with this 300. It really just show you it's worth adding because it's very effective for the reserve it's come out on Yukon Valley and the species on it um, so as we get better with it it's going to be even better just learning it and uh, you can already see it's very effective against Plains Bison and obviously you need something that's effective against them because they are look, they're looking straight at me look like you shot our friends we must avenge them want to collect the other one but I also want to carry on with my missions not dead you know what let's try and get this one between the eyes from here the further the distance uh, the harder it is to do this and be more precise but we'll try it here it goes I'm hoping that was a good shot. A bit harder at distance, like I say, being so precise to hit the brain. But it's down. I wasn't sure at first there. Check this one. Do you like the fur on them? Make a nice rug out of those. Keep you warm, won't it? Uh, it's a male, it's a two, and it's silver. Straight in the brain. So just aim right between the eyes and you will normally get a brain shot. And like I say, that's probably the most effective way of killing these. Here's Mount McTube in the background. I will be visiting you soon. Love how the clouds roll in this game. A lot of games, uh, the clouds will be static. Um, you might not notice it, but they are. And in this, they, they're ever moving around realistically. Um, it's quite nice to see that. Alright, here's the other one. I think this is the one we shot earlier, isn't it? That's right, ran off. Flesh, phratic, uh, spine, vertebrae. It is a female, and that's a two, actually. So that might have scored higher than the last one, but that was a female, so weird. 
But we're mopping up the plains bison. I think we might head left this time. Uh, we've killed quite a few of those. We know there's no real trophies there. So let's try something different and go left, see what we can discover that way. I want to try and discover as much as possible uh, all the new things, everything around the reserves. That's where we're going next, I think. We still need to get one more poo sample, animal dropping. I'm going to try and find a moose or something. We found <laughs> another big group of uh, plains bison on a different pond lake. I'm just seeing if there's any big ones here. I might be lucky enough to get a real big trophy or a rare. Can't see anything really big yet. I can't see any rare ones. Ah, a moose. Just what we need. So we'll go over to where that location is. Just look around and see if there's any other better moose. But that will get our objective done, which is collect the animal dropping samples. But the only problem is. All the planes by and have decided to come straight towards Ron, so <laughs> we might get stampeded again. We might have to take a couple out. We've got a drinking zone over there with a small male moose. Maybe if we shoot one of them, the rest will flee. I doubt it though, but we'll try it. I think we're going to have to to get to the moose to collect the drop in to complete the mission. So, trusty 300. Time to do your brain shots <laughs> and eradicate. He's playing bison. Alright, let's get 300 out. 300 cannon. Here it goes. We're going to pick one out and hopefully the others go the opposite way once uh, I shoot one of them. Or they're going to charge, man. I'm going to have to dive in the lake or something. <laughs> Here it goes. As you can see, very effective, and I think we're about mastered it now with 300. So, 300 cannon is the field bison destroyer. <laughs> School brain jaw, female one. It's not so much about the trophy and that, we just need to do it to get the others to disperse uh, so we can get over to this moose dropping to complete the objective. But if you're doing this to collect money in game and level up, you're going to earn a fortune smashing these. So great, head over, collect these drop-ins, you can see on my left there it's all yellow and golden and then on my right you've got like the snow and the mountains, so there's so many different uh, topographies in the game, uh, different plants and variations and areas which is going to be nice to explore later in the game. I wonder what else we'll discover here is some moose that dropping, so that's that mission. Now we'll be able to tell if anything larger than a fly is ingesting chemicals that we should be worried about. It's hard work wading through the musk cake, huh? I have a spot where you can drop the samples off and I can easily pick them up. Oh, I just remembered. I've been speaking with my wife about the work you've been doing. And she mentioned a few tasks that she has on her plate that I think you could help her with. I gave her your number, so expect to hear from her. She's working on some very important studies at the moment. Hang on a second. I'm getting a call. So that's our objective over, and it looks like we've got a new mission being lined up. There is Mount McTube. Okay, I'm back. We're getting closer. Flight change of plans. Before you drop off the samples, I need you to grab a hatchet from the outpost at the western edge of the flats. So we've got to go collect a hatchet. We have a bit of a situation out in the northwest corner of the reserve, and you're perfectly placed to take care of it. It looks like storms have weakened the roots of a tree, which is about to collapse onto the train tracks. Let me know when you grab the hatchet. I'm guessing we've got to do something with a tree, we've got to collect a hatchet, he's saying something about one has fell at a railway track. So I guess that's where we're going next. Now here is our lodge, our outpost, and this is where we're going to end this episode. So let's claim this, we'll have a look at the map where we are, what we've unlocked. Been a great episode, really enjoyed it. Learned lots of new things, tried out a new gun, the 300 cannon. Got new spaces. This is where we're on the map, what we've unlocked. 
Okay, competition time and the first prize, and it's gonna be one of these, is a base game of Call of the Wild. Now, the, the question you've got to answer to win this, and it's the first person that does it, is where did I shoot the first animal I shot with the 300 cannon? In what position of the body did I hit it? First person, the right one, gets Call of the you Wild base game. Great. I hope our visitors haven't been using it to open their beans. You're going to need a nice, sharp edge. It's small, but it should do the job. There's a lake just to the north of the flats. I'll be flying over it on my way home. If you drop that stuff off there, I can jump out, grab it, and get it to one of our ecological research teams today. Instead of you having to walk around with a bag full of droppings and swamp water. Second competition, two Yukon Valley DLCs, one each for both these questions. So you only get one per winner, there's two of them. What is the mountain gonna be called when I climb it? That's the first one. First right answer I see in the comments gets that. Second one for the second prize is, where do I like to shoot planes bison? What is the best place? First answer, correct one, gets another DLC for Yukon Valley. Add me on Twitter, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channels. Uh, ask me via Twitter if you're the first person and you will win the prize if it's all correct and all the uh, following criteria is right. So good luck with that. Get ready for my next video on Yukon Valley. I'm Ron McChew, please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the Call of Wild videos and thanks for watching. Bye bye.